today we set the field. And things get a lot more serious right now with Fast 12 qualifying. Here at the Brickyard. Hey, hey everybody, Ed Carpenter, driver and owner of Ed Carpenter Racing. Um, he's gonna be hanging out with me for the Fast 12 round. Should be interesting, we had a little bit of a hiccup uh, with Renus's car this morning, didn't get to complete the practice session, but the team did an amazing job getting the, the car back together. So I don't feel like we really lost anything from the, the problem. So we feel good about our chances uh, to get in the fast six. You know, the key to these rounds, having been in them before, is just making the right decisions. It's a beautiful day, but the track temp's about as high as we've seen for the entire month so far. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to me to see the downforce choices that people make and uh, how that affects the four lap run. So hopefully we're on the right end of it. I didn't bring my hard cards. I might need you guys help. Good luck, sweetheart. Oh gosh, you almost crashed already. That's four. Five, five, six, four, five. If they don't adjust, some guys might be over. Said it's crazy how tight it was. The middle, yeah, the condition. It's gonna be harder now, track temps. High as we've seen all month now. Yeah, we can dodge a bullet this morning with Renus. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, he added a lot. And they keep adding. They just added it again. Ferrucci or the eight? What? Huh? The eight or the Ferrucci? Yeah. Peterson's top speed still higher than Will at that trim. He's, they've got better gears. He's shifting more than Will. Like he's, He's fifth and six. He's shifting to six late though, so it's not optimized. What's his top speed in the one? It's, he hit 241 or 240 the first time. That was 239. What's that? Most of anybody. It's added. It's the green flies for the homes for troops Chevrolet for AJ Foyt oh Racing. Boy. Santino Ferrucci gets high and wide. Still hit 240. He still hit 240. Lap one says 234.5 miles an hour. Game on for Santino Ferrucci. He might win. He might win the pole. Yeah. If they do that. That was good. Was good. They had more downforce than anyone that's ran yet too. Oh really? Ferrucci's fast. Yeah, he's fast as one. Yeah. If he couldn't have gotten any more buried in it, that's the positive. Impressive. Yeah, that might be the full sitter. Yeah. These guys are going to change. Change what? Dude, Dixon? What, he told you already? He goes, we're talking about doing it right now. Dixon's going to be adding. He's still saying a minus six. They're gonna move, they're gonna add. He's at seven, I think, anyway. They haven't been add. On the scanner, I, they've been talking about adding with Dixon, they haven't yet. No, he's not. I think he's like three. I text him and said I thought that was the right call. Consistency. I think so. the consistency is going to be better. Here. I think the track's fast, so just. I agree. 234.5 miles an hour. The first lap almost matches Santino Ferrucci. It is on. Have a look at it. Renus VK slots into second. Oh, just a tenth of a mile. Uh, that's, we're in. That puts us in no matter what. Huh? We're in no matter what. Yeah. I walked out here.
What did he get down to? Four, four, yeah. But it was losing one, two, and I was like, hey. Thanks. That's a wrap on the round of 12. Just like I'd hoped, uh, Renus in the 21bitnl.com Chevy made it through that round and third, so we'll be the third last car to go, which is always good. Conditions are getting better that time of day. Uh, so really happy, you know, super proud of Team Chevy for the Fast Six, Chevy cars represented. So super strong team effort, especially after the little mini drama we had this morning. So excited for this evening, happy to still be in it.